welcome back. Let me turn my phone off on silent before it gets ugly. It's me, Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just loving my new setup, getting in the groove of things. Hair, what do you guys think of the puff balls? Would y'all believe me if I told you I'm turning 30 next year? Hmm. Actually, don't answer that in the comments. I know some of y'all shady folks don't try to throw shade. On today's video, I'm going to be continuing on with our Black Business Week series. And I'm going to be featuring a company by the name of Luna Lashes. A lot of you guys probably have seen it all over Instagram. It really It's a company that grew really, really fast for many obvious reasons. They have bomb lashes. And you guys know that if I'm raving about a lash, the girl who didn't touch lashes for so long, then they must be good. I really like the diversity of styles and how natural they kind of look. And I was just like, oh my God, your lashes are so bomb. Like, is this what I've been missing out on? How come no one told me, man? Not only am I really eager to support the brand because it's black owned and the products are awesome, but Marlene, the girl who started Lena Lashes, is also a YouTuber. And you guys know how I feel about YouTubers creating stuff. I always want to support it. Lena Lashes just recently launched a collection of liquid lipsticks. I don't have all of them. I think I have about eight, two, four. I have eight of them. So I'm going to be swatching them. And to start it off, I'm going to show you guys the lashes that I have on now, okay? So this is the Here Comes the Bride set from Lena Lashes. You probably can't see the box too well. So there's just something that can be said about these lashes that just look like the everyday. It's almost kind of like an Ardell Wispy, but an upgraded version of that and definitely better quality. Like you can use them more often. But my favorite, favorite, favorite set of all time, of all time, is the Coco set. So this is basically the set that's named after uh, the Kardashians. It's like every Kardashian Jenner has a lash in this set. Please save the anti-Kardashian rants elsewhere. It's, the video's not about them. I'm just, I'm just talking about the product, okay? Okay, this set is so cute. I love this set. So this is Kendall, Chloe, Kim, and Kylie. Now, even though the video is not about the lashes, I just wanted to get into those for a little bit because right now I am wearing from the bridal set, the gorgeous lash. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. Now, the first color I'm gonna walk you guys through is Dante. This is probably one of my favorites. I saw a picture of this girl on their Instagram and I was like, what is that color? And it turns out I already had it. So I was like, <laughs> now the names, on these lipsticks are not on them, which is kind of annoying, but we don't get through that anyway. It doesn't take away from the quality of the product. Okay, so this is Dante. How you doing, Dante? Dante is so cute and what I, what I like about this color is even though we're kind of moving into spring so you're going to see things lighten up a little bit, this is still one of those reds that I feel like you can still wear during the spring because it's kind of like a reddish brown. So I really, really like this color and what I like about it is, is it also I feel like it's one of those colors that looks different on everyone. So definitely take your chances with Dante because I love this color. It is so satisfying watching lip swatch videos for me. I don't know why. I definitely feel like I should do more of them. Okay guys, I'm gonna start rolling in some swatches of the Lena Lashes liquid lipsticks. This is Dante. Mwah. Now fortunately, I only have a couple like nude-ish colors, so hopefully my lips won't be too stained for those. This is Kevin. Kevin is what looks to me kind of like that dark nude mommy pink, which I feel you can never have too many of. I don't care what the hell anybody says. By the way, I'm slightly moisturizing my lips in between each application. You guys, I know people don't like it that we don't show the color when it's fully dry, but come on, man. Can I just keep the integrity of my lips? Okay, so here goes Kevin. Oh, just kidding. Sorry, made a mistake. Kevin is the kind of bubblegum pink. Really cute. Really cute with my top, huh? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Kevin is cute, but definitely needs a liner. I'm getting more into these like brighter pinks. So I'm gonna take Dahlia, which is from ColourPop, and it's kind of like a burgundy. Okay, so not the best liner application, but it definitely looked better, looks better now versus just up against my bare skin. This is definitely, okay, excuse me, Kevin. <laughs> This is definitely a pink that I feel like I'm getting more into. It's like an amped up version of just like a boring nude pink. 
I love this color. And what I like about this color too is you can kind of like use it as an inner highlight to kind of like mix and play up other colors. So I love, love, love. And this couldn't have come at a better time than good old spring, girl. I love, love, love this color pink and matte. It just looks so sexy to me. It's like Barbie pink. It's like staple Barbie pink every girl needs. Next, I have Tony. Tony is kind of like a plum pink. Somewhere in between a plum and a pink for sure. Looking at the bottle is a little tricky. Um, the bottle kind of shows you a different color than what it looks like when you actually put it on. Okay, so this is gonna be like your melted fig from Too Faced, that kind of purple. Another really, really good, I'm really happy with the selection they sent me. These are all gonna be great spring colors. See, even when this dries, it turns a slightly different color. It's looking more purple. I love this color on its own, but with a liner, you're gonna kill it. Like, I can just see this. I would definitely wear something like this with a dark purple liner, like the one that I have here. If you have like Vino for MAC, this would be perfect with this lipstick color. So we're done with Tony, on to Frederic. Ooh, I'm letting these dry too much. It's gonna start getting real ugly. See how much I love y'all, the things I do for y'all. On to the next one. So this is Frederic, and it's just a dark brown. I love that she wasn't afraid to go really dark brown with this lip because uh, the whole like brown lip trend on everyone else it looks like a cute dark brown lip but on me it looks like my skin color or it's like not brown enough so there's just no contrast but it's not really a nude either I don't know if that makes sense so anyway I like the fact that she wasn't afraid to go really dark with this because I can actually see the contrast that I'm on my skin and I like it this is also going to be really really good because you know how when you're trying to blend a liquid lipstick in with a liner what I think I'm gonna start doing is instead of trying to like fool around with a liner is just use a liquid lipstick the color of the liner if that makes sense so it was kind of easier to blend so for example I like using a dark brown liner with my reds for that like ombre look and instead I'm just gonna use a dark brown liquid lipstick genius I actually love this color as it starts to dry which I really shouldn't have let it dry I really really like this color this color is Jason it is a kind of like a dark vampy red by the way side note Lena also just expanded into glitter so I am wearing one of the glitters today it is the gold one This color is gorgeous. This is probably not one that I'm gonna wear a lot during the season, but it is super pretty. It's like that plum, kind of like that plum berry red. I just stopped for a water break. Girl's getting thirsty. Voss, you should sponsor me. I drink your water all the time. This isn't a paid product placement, but I, I mean, I don't mind them sliding me a check or two. I don't mind, okay? This one is really pretty. I like this one because it actually looks velvety as it starts to dry, which I love. I love that kind of look, that velveteen look. Only three left, bear with me lips, bear with me. This is Car, Mr. Carter, it's a true purple. This one, oddly enough, is like my least favorite of the bunch because I'm just not really a big like I don't know, I go through seasons with purple. Like sometimes I really, really like this kind of purple and then sometimes I hate it. But oddly enough, this is the color that I get the most compliments on. Funny how that works, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, this is cute. It is cute. I just have to be like in a really spontaneous mood to really grab colors like this one. We're going to get into my next favorite, which is a nude mountain pink. It's called James. This is an upgraded version of your everyday nude pink. I love this color. I'll let it dry just a little bit so you guys can kind of see the finish. I like this color. And it's pretty enough to be worn without a liner even though I probably would not. It is, it's like, it's black girl friendly. All right boss, I'm ready for that sponsorship. Now the last color I have is Idris, which is a true orange. And a lot of people, especially chocolate girls, have that problem of wearing orange lipstick and it looks like you have a mustache. What is it about orange that does that? What it is, 
ha 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 is you probably didn't color correct so because orange is usually what we would use to color correct um, or even like salmon or peach basically what is it's kind of doing is making everything around it stand out more because that's what you're supposed to use to color correct I don't really know if I'm explaining that correctly but anyway just a little quick tip for those of you guys that are scared of orange for that reason I love I love me a bold bright orange I'm gonna double layer this because it does look like this one needs two layers so Idris is still drying but Idris is neon so he's a little patchy I'm not gonna lie I would advise you to either wear a like full-on orange liner underneath so it can kind of like coat the lips first and then put that on top or really kind of like get one layer on let it dry get the other layer on let it dry don't mess with it too much because it's gonna start looking patchy but this is Idris God, this color looks so good with the liner. This one's my favorite. Definitely my favorite. I can definitely get into wearing something like this every day. All right, guys, so that's all the swatches I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to see you come back. And of course, be sure to check out my girl Lena Lashes because her stuff is just bomb. From the lipsticks to the lashes. She's got some really great stuff. So thanks again for hanging out, guys. I will see you on my next video. Bye.